Hi, it's Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions and today we have a GrowWatt solar inverter and this one's been coming up with a VAC out of range error message. Uh, right now it's actually working and uh, we tap on the screen it usually makes it light up. If you keep tapping it scrolls through the different readings. So VAC out range means the voltage on the AC side of the inverter is getting out of the permissible range of the uh, inverter. And so what it's doing, because it's out of the permissible range, it's shutting down for safety. Um, now, if, if the grid was getting outside the permissible range, then that should be exactly what it's doing. But in this case, and we've seen it quite a number of times with the grow watt inverters, is the voltage is actually okay on the street, on the, on the grid side of the inverter, but the inverter is not reading the voltage correctly. If you come up here, we have a look at the... Uh, the screen of the inverter we tap on it you see it says ac voltage here. it's 269 270 volts now if we i'm just going to put a multimeter on the actual incoming of the uh the the grid side of the inverter and you can actually see we're only getting 249 volts there 248 247 volts so that's a big difference to 269 270 volts so we can see by that that the inverter is actually reading uh it incorrectly i'll see if i can just uh tap and we get through to the voltage. So there we got 270 volts on the inverter. It was 248 volts on here. And so you can see the inverter is reading the voltage very high, a lot higher than it should be. So what happens, the inverter will get to about 274 volts and then it'll actually trip out. And it'll go through a reconnection process. It'll take about a minute, then it'll try and restart. If it detects the voltage is too high again, it'll continually trip out again and again. So um, if you're having an issue like this, the first thing that really needs to happen is you're going to need to get an accredited electrician, a solar accredited electrician, to actually check the uh, the AC voltage getting to your inverter, and uh, they can do that by, like we've shown here, just testing across between the active and the neutral on the incoming terminals. And please don't do this if you're a, if you're not an uh, electrician, and uh, check the AC voltage coming from the grid. You can see there it's 249 volts. If it's below 255 volts, there shouldn't be a problem. If that's uh, well within, within the uh, characteristics of the inverter. But if we come up closer again, we'll, we'll just see on here. Even though we're reading that 240, uh, 249, 248 on the inverter, because of PV voltage there, AC voltage is 270 volts currently, which is uh, way higher than it should be. So the inverter is actually reading incorrectly. This is a fault with the inverter. And so if your uh, GrowWatt was installed within the last five years and it should be under warranty still, so you can make a warranty claim with GrowWatt and get a replacement of warranty. A couple of things you'll require for that. And that's uh, some information off the size of the, of the inverter here. And we've got the, uh, the model of the inverter. It's the Sun Gold 2000. And you also need the serial number, which you can find out here. That's that serial number there. And uh, and you'll be able to uh, grow it should be able to get you sorted out if it's if your inverter is older than five years old um, then realistically the best thing to do is replace the inverter with a new one you can try and get it re uh, repaired outside of warranty but it's going to cost you a lot of money there we go it's just come up with acv out range and the red fault light acv out range so now it's going through a reconnection process again and so right now it's not producing any power at all and then it'll try and start up, work until that voltage gets too high again, and then it'll trip out again. So yeah, if, if it's outside of the warranty, then I'd highly recommend that you replace with a brand new inverter with a full new warranty, and hopefully you won't have any more problems with you, but you'll have years of trouble-free uh, service from your solar power system. If you're on the Gold Coast of South East Queensland, you need any help with an issue like this, don't hesitate to get in contact with Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. We're here to help. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful.